Abelard was born in 1079 AD. It is said that he was at one time the most famous man in Europe. He was one of the greatest thinkers and philosophers of the 12th century. His teachings were controversial. Abelard was a canon, not quite ordained into priesthood, but was supposed to live according to a set of religious rules. Eloise was not only beautiful, but had many accomplishments that were rare to women. She spoke a number of languages and, like Abelard, loved music and poetry. She was only 18 when she met the 35-year-old Abelard through her uncle Fubert. It is said that upon their first meeting, they formed a strong attachment to one another. Eloise was carefully guarded by Fulbert, and so it was difficult for Abelard to have access to her. He described Eloise's promise as a scholar, and proposed that he take on a role as her tutor. Such an offer coming from a brilliant man was happily accepted. And so, Abelard could visit Eloise without restraint. He was her teacher and the two spent hours together. They studied languages such as Greek and Hebrew, but usually found their conversations drifting towards life in general, of which Eloise was taken by Abelard's wide experience and knowledge. Soon their studies would be forgotten altogether, as they began a deep affair with one another. Then, Abelard's love letters to Eloise were shown to Fulbert, who had suspected nothing between his niece and her tutor. Angrily, he forbid they see each other again. They could not be parted, however, as Eloise soon gave birth to a son. She fled to Abelard's sister's house, where she could be cared for and could still see Abelard often. After learning their affair still continued, Fulbert was furious. He ordered to have them married as to protect their reputation. Eloise objected to the marriage, saying Abelard wouldn't be able to advance in the church if he were to marry her. Famously, Eloise said, I would rather be your mistress than the wife of even an emperor. The two were married, but Eloise later swore it never occurred. Ill-treated by Fulbert and denied access to the one she loved, Eloise became part of a convent outside of Paris, where she became a nun as a disguise. Abelard could visit her from time to time, being a church canon. When Fulbert learned of this, he was beyond furious and took revenge on Abelard. He bribed guards to let him into Abelard's chambers and hired ruffians to conduct an awful act of violence. While Abelard was asleep, they castrated him. Abelard became a Benedictine monk and entered the Abbey of St. Denis. Time passed in which Abelard and Eloise didn't communicate, not even through letters. Abelard wrote a famous work titled The Story of My Misfortunes. When a copy of it reached the hands of Eloise, she wrote to him instantly. In the ten years that had passed, her heart was just as full of yearning as when they parted. Thus began a famous correspondence between the two, an exchange of love letters that have become important to literacy and history. Because of their positions in the church, they never pursued together anything more than spiritual love for the rest of their lives. Abelard died years later and his body was brought back and entombed. Eloise watched over it for 22 years with tender care until her death, when her own body was laid beside his. Their tombs now rest together in the great Père Lachaise Cemetery in France.